Thank you. Okay, so first we're going to begin with putting olive oil in a skillet, so just a small amount. And Alyssa, if mm -hmm. you could just cut the onion. Okay. So you're going to cut an entire onion. Okay. And you're going to just chop it. So in okay. little dice one fourth. Dice, mince yes. It. Okay. Dice it. And then we're going to mince the garlic. Okay. So while this olive oil is heating up. So and then I'll go ahead and. Sure. Mince the garlic. Okay. This past weekend was something I could never uh, dream of accomplishment. Ac accomplishing in front of a home crowd. Um, my last time to wear the Arkansas jersey. Um, so winning that title in front of. Arkansas fans was mm -hmm. amazing, especially since it's my hometown. So it was really special for me to be able to do that um, and then come back in the 200 and get that silver medal and then, of course, that overall team title where we blew it out of the water with our <laughs> record scoring yeah. points. Yes. Yeah, we have, we have nationals in Birmingham in two weeks, so next Friday and Saturday, and we're also hoping to bring that title home as well. And I think we have the most entries coming into nationals, so I think if the team does their job, we'll, we'll come away with that um, NCAA trophy. Yeah, so nutrition has always been a big part of my life because I understand that you have to eat properly and fuel your body properly in order to feel good at practice or feel good just every single day. So um, coming up with recipes that are healthy but also taste good has really been a big part of my lifestyle. Um, I've been able to help my teammates with uh, cooking and healthy recipes. So just any way that I can help other people um, with their health is um, something that I really enjoy to do. Yes, I completely agree because if you're eating a pizza or fried food all the time, then you're not going to feel your best at competition. So whenever you're fueling properly and um, eating things that are nutritious and healthy, then you're going to feel good at practice. You're going to feel good going into a track meet or whatever competition it may be. So I just think nutrition is overall extremely important in everyone's daily life. Yeah, that looks great. So okay. we're going to put the onions now in the skillet with okay. the garlic. Wonderful. And it smells really so nice. Nice. Yes, and so we're just going to saute these until they're soft, not all the way cooked through because it's going to go in with the meat and sure. the tomato sauce. Okay. All so right. What's next for me? While we're we can go ahead and start okay. using the mandolin with the zucchini. Okay. So I've already done a couple. So this is what your zucchini noodles are going to look like, mm -hmm. just like a regular noodle. So you just, I'll show you. Sure, yeah. You take I, I have one of these <laughs> and I've done them long ways, but I've never done them on the side. So... Okay. So the first couple aren't going to look very good, mm -hmm. but then you'll start getting into a rhythm, and they nice. start looking like lasagna noodles. Okay. All so right. you take this it over. Not cutting my finger. Um, now, lasagna zucchini, and most people <laughs> eat zucchini with noodles, but this completely cuts all that pasta carbs out. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is just a low-carb, uh, high-protein dish. Mm -hmm. I mean, zucchini still has carbs. It's just not as carby. So after you eat this, you don't feel as heavy or... Um, you don't want to go take a nap. Yeah, and you can still pair it with, of course, a bread that has 
<laughs> garlic and butter. That's that's totally fine. This just is a healthier alternative to lasagna. I think I got about half of those right. No, they look really good. Okay. And this is something, too, that can be meal prepped throughout sure. the week. So you can put it in the freezer and then put it in the fridge the night before and then take it to work. Whatever is best for you and your... So Yes, I um, introduce a lot of my recipes to him. He's my, he gets to taste test everything. I'm sure he's not so, mad about that. no. And he approves. He, um, he doesn't necessarily always like healthy food, <laughs> but I make it taste good, so he usually thoroughly enjoys it. So. Yeah, um, kind of like what I said, I just found that I could help people with their nutrition and healthy eating, and a lot of people were taking into account what I was putting into my body, so I figured why not post about it more often to share exactly what I'm doing um, so that others can do that as well. So that's kind of why I took on cooking, and I enjoy it. It's kind of a weekend hobby after after track meets or a long week of track I'll just get in the kitchen and start cooking and come up with new recipes class. yes exactly all right so explain what you did there as so you cut these I went ahead and put the beef in with the onion and garlic okay. and you're just gonna warm it up I had already pre-cooked the meat so it's beef Yes. Ground beef. Yes. And I'm sure you could do this with chicken. Ground chicken yes. or turkey or any any kind of protein. Yes, anything that is your preference. And those look good. Okay. There you go. I was on a roll. I just kept on going. And then I'm going to add in the tomato sauce. Okay. So you're going to bring this to a simmer. And this will be your meat sauce layer in the lasagna. Is that okay? That's fine. You right? can't tell whenever it's all put together. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. But I'm always, I want it to all be pretty and perfect, but I, know. I can't tell underneath everything. And then I'm going to add all of the spices, which okay. it's a lot of spices because you want it to have lots of flavor. What you got in there? Oregano? Oregano, thyme, basil, garlic salt, um, salt and pepper. And in the summertime, whenever there's fresh herbs in my garden, mm -hmm. I tend to add a lot of fresh herbs nice. and fresh tomatoes also. Do I need to cut any more zucchini, or do you think that nope, that's, that's okay? Nope, that's good. Oh, good? Okay. I think we are about ready to start okay. layering. This is the fun part. Yes. The layering part. And this is something, again, you can make at home, but anyone, family, this is the fun part, the layering part, where you can get the whole family involved if, if yes. you need to, for moms like me. So first layer is going to be zucchini. So okay. just put one layer of zucchini. Just completely covered? Yes, completely covered, just like you would with noodles. <laughs> Looks good. Okay. There you go. Okay. And then next we're gonna add half of the meat sauce. Okay. It smells really, really good, too, by the way. I love lasagna, and, you know, I love pasta. Really, any time I can eat Italian, <laughs> I'm not mad about it, but um, this looks just as delicious as any kind of regular lasagna. Yes, it tastes even better. And then we'll do a layer of the ricotta cheese. Okay. The so cottage that's what we have here? Yes. It has ricotta, cottage cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper, and one egg. Okay, and what do we have here? This is Parmesan okay. cheese and mozzarella cheese. Cool. So just kind of put a glob yeah. and then spread yep, it? Yep, it'll be just one pretty decent layer, just half of this mixture. Okay. Yeah, so it's zucchini, meat sauce, the ricotta layer, mm -hmm. a little bit of cheese, zucchini again, all the way up until um, zucchini is the last layer with a nice layer of cheese to top it off. 
Can't forget about the cheese. Now, why is this one of your favorites? It's easy go-to. Yes, it's an easy go-to. I know the recipe by heart. Um, it, it lasts throughout the week, or I can, like I said, I, you can freeze it. So I like to have it for lunch. Um, it's just a really good, solid dish that me and Cannon both like and enjoy. Nice. Another layer of zucchini. And then we're going to do a little okay. bit of mozzarella cheese, so like a light sprinkle. Oh, okay. All right. I would put the whole thing in. That'll be on the I'll top. Do a, I'll do a light sprinkle. If because so. then when it comes out of the oven, it's going to be all bubbly and okay. brown. And then start over. Yep. Perfect. Zucchini. So as you head into your senior year, Peyton, how yeah. would you describe, look back on your career as a Razorback? <laughs> um, I'd say it was a definite journey. Mm -hmm. um, it flew by really fast. I can't believe that this is my senior year and I've already competed in indoor SECs and um, it's coming to a close, but I've made a really, a lot of relation good relationships mm -hmm. being on this team with my coach, teammates. I found my husband at the University of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So it's been a really great journey, and it's something that I'll get to tell my kids one day or whatever I do in the future. I just It's something that I'll always cherish is being an Arkansas Razorback. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't have to necessarily just tell your kids. You're a record holder <laughs> in some areas as well, and you can just show them. That's, so that'll be really nice as well. Yeah, we plan to have a trophy room one day, so I think that's going to be really cool with all his baseball stuff and then track stuff. I think that's going to be really cool to have be and to show off. Sure, the, kid, the kids will love that. They'll invite their friends over to tell all about what mom and dad did. Yes. Um, what about the next step for you? Obviously, this could easily become a career in mm -hmm. cooking and doing this, but I'm sure you're not ready to hang up those track shoes quite yet. <laughs> No, so I plan to run professionally um, in some shape or form. I plan to stay around the University of Arkansas and train mm -hmm. with my current coach, Chris Johnson, because he's amazing, and we obviously click and work well together, so I wouldn't want to leave that situation. Um, after that, I don't really know. Like I could go into coaching, mm -hmm. um, some type of health and nutrition, or <clears throat> training. I, I'm not very sure, but definitely want to continue running as long as I can. Um, extremely important because of all the relationships, all of the people I've met through mm -hmm. track meets, so all the track officials. Um, I like talking to those guys at the track <laughs> meets. They're really funny. They're um, so it's great just to have all those connections with even different corporations for maybe future, just stuff in the future. So staying around here could really be beneficial for mm -hmm. Cannon and I. Yeah. Okay, so with the hurdles, practice makes perfect. We okay. practice the hurdles very often. So it just it's one of those things that I could do in my sleep. I could do it with my eyes closed, but um it just takes practice. And I didn't think yours was that bad. Okay. It was pretty well, I good. I she had a good coach though. Okay. So I appreciate that. I did have a very good coach. <laughs> uh, I just had some coworkers who were, you know, a little critical of my form. So yep. that was a lot of fun to do that. So now that we're done layering, we get to do the fun part, which is the baking. Yep, and it's gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes, depending on how long it takes the top to start looking brown and bubbly and 
smelling delicious in your kitchen. All right. This is the finished product of our zucchini lasagna. Okay. And this is exactly how you want it to look when it gets out of the oven. Brown, bubbling, and delicious.